Hi everyone and welcome to my channel Handmade Everyday. I post videos about sewing and in today's video I'll share all my makes for June. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Alright, so we'll have a special sleeping guest for the next little bit. Um, so summer is finally here and... <clears throat> Alright, so June has been an interesting month to say the least. I've been sewing things that I dislike and won't wear and I've also sewn this dress that I love and I think I will get a lot of wear out of it so it's a little bit of everything in this video um, so I'll get started with this dress because it's the one of the last uh, things I've made and it's a success, I love it it's an Ilna dress from Named this time I made size 2 because I made the um, top version in a size 3 earlier and last month and it's a little bit big so this time I went with a size 2 and uh, this dress is so lovely uh, it has a sort of a gathered um, piece at the bottom that adds volume it has elasticized um, M for the sleeve and also it's like a off the shoulder top and this holds with elastics um, I was so excited when I finished this that I wore it before I sewed the elastic so they were um, holding together with a safety pin that's how you know you really love something you just made um, and also this um, is made with exclusive fabric from Minerva it's their um, Jali Viscose uh, Shelly <laughs> Viscose um, like collection and it's so lovely um, it's super soft it's perfectly opaque it's fluid um the, the drape is like it's beautiful it it, it hangs beautif beautifully as a dress um and it's so like it's it's a delight to sew um so i highly recommend this fabric i have another one that's coming and i'm really excited to make something out of it um so this dress is the first time i'm making something that's off the shoulder and i was curious to see how comfortable it would be um but it really is i thought i would be always like um trying to put it in place and just like you know touching it so that it it's it's hanging in the right uh place but it it really is comfortable so yeah i might make another one out of this um, once my when my mom saw this fabric she was like I really want to have something made out of this so um, we'll see uh, if I actually get around making something for her um, anyway but I had a little bit of fabric left over so I decided to make a matching outfit for my baby girl so I made this t-shirt this is the Brindig and Twig Ringer Tee and I made the little um, Lolita shorts in the same fabric so I'll add pictures of us wearing this um, cute little outfit. I've also started to track the cost of the things that I'm making because I've realized that it's adding up. So for, for this dress in terms of cost we have this pattern it's about 20 Canadian dollars and I've already made it twice so maybe we are at ten dollars and then the fabric for this I got in exchange um, to write a post. So I mean maybe it took me an hour or two to write the post so maybe my rate is $20 an hour so probably this dress is between $30 and $40 uh, Canadian dollars so it's pretty good in my opinion um, we'll see that some other projects were a little bit pricier <laughs> talking about pricier projects so this one is I have my notes on my cell phone that's why I'm, I'm looking at it um, so this is the Galaxy 5 it's a pattern from Shelly this pattern I got 50% off uh, during the release, so it's about $8. And this uh, fabric is the um, Canva from Ruby Star Society that's called Vessel in Navy. And it was $21 a meter. I got one meter. I have uh, the lining that was about um, $14 a meter. The webbing for the straps zippers, um, the interfacing, I got uh, Pelon Thermo Lamp Plus Fleece, that was $16 a yard, and all the little hardware I got from um, Emalien, I highly recommend her shop for hardware, it's 
you'll get everything you need and it will match and it's really high quality but it is expensive so i got uh, all the hardware for 19 dollars including shipping and yeah so total material for this bag is 95 canadian dollars and it took me over four hours so let's say like 80 dollars of my time so this bag cost me well including my my how my labor um cost me 175 dollars so here, I have to say that I love it, uh, but I don't think it's worth, I'm looking at my daughter's asleep and I'm trying to see if she's uh, starting to awake. Is she, yeah, well, she's good. Um, yeah, so this bag, um, I mean, I love it, but is it worth $175? I'm not sure. Um, so this is one of the reasons why I started tracking my cost. Um, so here we have a front pocket. I also made the mistake with this one of sewing the zipper while this was shut all the way on the other side of the seam. So first time I tried to use this bag, I'm like, oh, where's the pull to, to like open the zipper? And it was on the other side of the seam. So I had to unpick a few things. <laughs> um, and here we have side pockets. And this bag can actually be a... Um, you can hold it just like this. You can hold it with the shoulder strap like this, or you can hold it as a backpack. Um, I'll change it in a few minutes, but I'll just show you. In the main pocket, you have like little zippers. You have pockets. Um, it's, a, it's a pretty great bag. Yeah. And I love that I use like really sturdy interfacing so it holds um, its shape. So that's really nice. So yeah, so if you want to transform this in a backpack, oh, you need to pull the, you need to put this right, oh, no, it's on this side, oops, sorry about that. And on the back of the side, you, of the bag, you pull this strap like this, put it here. This you can even attach with, um, like that. Here and Jali made a, an amazing uh, video tutorial to, for this bag. So useful. I highly recommend watching it if you're making this bag. Not that it's a um, like tough pattern to make, but you know having a visual usually helps. So here it is. So here it's um, it's a little backpack. Um, so yeah, really love this one, but again, quite pricey. Next we have this serene dress from uh, Tyrion the Buttons and honestly this can possibly be this could possibly be one of the worst uh, dress I've ever made it doesn't fit well and I dislike it so much I'll just cut into it to make smaller things for my daughter because I cannot tolerate this side of it and also I want to reuse all of these buttons because buttons um, sort of like they add up in the cost of like the entire dress Anyway, uh, so the story of this dress is, it's entirely my fault. Um, we were going to Miami uh, for a week and on the flight, I realized that we had a wedding in two weeks and that I didn't like plan my outfit and I wanted to match with my baby girl, of course. So I went into total like planning mode and I'm like, oh my God, we're going for a week. So I'll only have one week to buy fabric pick patterns and you know make like boat outfits and with a baby like she isn't sleeping so well so I don't have as much time as I, I would like uh, to sew so it would be like a time crunch so I was like hmm I could make a, a dress that I've made in the past and I won't match with baby girl but you know that's fine but then like my partner's like hmm maybe isn't it too like uh loud as a dress you know it's like saturated colors and it's like big patterns and stuff and I'm like oh maybe um for a wedding I don't know so I decided to create something new uh, but that was a really bad idea because I went fabric shopping I was in a rush I got first mistake very poor uh choice of fabric it's too lightweight and it it has beautiful drape but it's it's just too lightweight it's see-through and it's not good to make a dress. I could see a top made with this, but not a dress. Um, 
second mistake. So I measure myself and everything and I'm like, oh, maybe I'm a size four. So I cut out a size four and I try on the bodice when it's like just the, the, the bodice part is assembled and I'm like, oof, that's way too big. I need to remove like almost uh, one inch uh, on each side. So it's like two inch too big. I'm like, oh my God, that's impossible. Uh, but anyway, I do it. I do the pla the front placket and oh no, the front placket is way after. Anyway, I, I do like the, I do the, the straps. And I'm like, oh my God, that's way too tight. So I undo what I just did and I made, I make a straight size four. But the thing is that time when I assembled the facing and everything, I had attached this to the lowest part of the bodice, which is actually the waist. So this was actually upside down. Um, and then the facing was too big anyway. So I had to cut into the facing. And then I, I like, once everything is done, the ruffle and everything, I realized that actually it's like all upside down. So I need to unpick everything, redo everything. But then I sort of forget that I need to do the adjustment. So I sew the whole thing way too big, but I don't try it again. I'm like, this is over. I do the, the skirt and that's it. And now we're like 15 minutes, no half an hour before the wedding and I try on the dress and I'm like oh my god I cannot leave with this dress like this this was like dropping so low like the sleeve the the straps were way too long maybe like two centimeters so it was like indecent and the sides were like gapping so much everything was like going so so poorly uh and my partner's like we need to leave <laughs> in 15 minutes and I'm like so I'm, I'm, I go like to my sewing machine, I unpick the straps, try to make them like shorter. Um, then I bring in the side seam by a lot. I'll try to insert a, a picture of how much the inside of this dress, horrible. It's like a war zone. And this, I'm like, oh my God, but it's still too big. So in the car, I, you know, like the buttons were, I'll try to show you. So this is the, I'll get closer. This is the button placket. I sew the buttons next to the button placket to try to, you know, bring the dress together a little bit uh, in the car on our way to the wedding. Awful experience, so stressful. And just to add to it, the whole time that I'm at the wedding, this button keeps doing like this. Every time I breathe, this button like un un undo it itself. I don't know if it's because it's too round or something it's slippery anyway uh, oh another thing I get out of the car and I pull out the stroller for the baby and I sort of like put the stroller on my dress and I stain the dress um, with like brown marks of like mud and everything and I'm not even there yet horrible anyway so this for this is for my dress um, and then, well, I made this little matching headband and I'll show you what I made for baby girl. So I really wanted us, us to match. So for baby girl, I made this little uh, pinafore dress from Omi oh My Sewing with the matching like straps and ruffle. Um, so that's very cute. But again, this fabric wrinkles so much. Um, we, we both look like we were in like the dryer all night like you know in the dryer machine but like the machine was stopped and we just were like stuck like in a in a bunch of like you know just bunched up together anyway <laughs> but this is the only thing that i love of all of this uh the little like hat that i've made this is a pattern from jk pattern um i love it it's so cute it's reversible and she looks like a little like grandmother <laughs> that doesn't want to get her hair wet. It's so cute with like the little, um, the little um, like visor in the front. I love this. Um, so yeah, oh, so again, see, this strap is like so annoying. So this is a story of this. Oh, also I made a anchor chief for my partner in this fabric. Uh, so we were all matching, but I 
wasn't happy with this dress. Anyway, the whole thing was very frustrating and I've learned my lesson. Um, never sewing, anyway, I hope I'm never sewing again. Under pressure with a deadline. Uh, sewing is for fun, it's my hobby. Like, why do I put this much pressure on myself to make everything and for us to be matching all the time? It's like crazy. Like, I shouldn't do that, so I won't do it anymore. The next thing I have is this pair of Varma pants from Ning. It's made out of a, a tensile from Club Tissu and it's size 4. I've made this pair of pants a few months back I, and I haven't worn this the, and I have not worn these pants yet. I don't really like them. Um, not that there's anything really wrong with them except the pockets are way too low. Um, the pockets like, yeah, they're just, I don't know, I don't like where they sit. I decided to make these pants because I love that this detail here, like the sort of like scalloped um, um, pockets, but for some reason there's something that I dislike about these pants. I removed uh, one inch from the length, I am not going to wear these pants. And last but not least, I've made this faux jumpsuit. It's the Simone top from Jali. It's size R and no, it's the Michelle top from Jali. And this is the Simone uh, pants from Jali as well. And it's size W. I've made this faux jumpsuit before uh, with fabric from Minerva, uh, but everything was in size small and it's a bit snug. And I think that's one of the reasons why I'm not wearing it. Uh, but this one made in this pink linen and in like an appropriate size for me is perfect. I love it so much. Um, I'm actually thinking of making this uh, faux jumpsuit again with um, the, the black tensile that I have. I think it would do like a very sort of like chic faux jumpsuit, uh, which is a lot more practical. And I'm going back to work soon. In fact, not next week, but the week after that, so in two weeks. Uh, so I might need like something new just to cheer me up as I'm going back to work um, and yeah so I might do it again that's just how much I love it and yeah zero adjustment on, on this uh, with jelly patterns I rarely, rarely do adjustments so yeah Um, don't know if I mentioned it, but this is linen from Club Tissu. I think there's still some available if you're interested. So this is it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I've just realized that I haven't made anything in a knit for me this month. Uh, I've been sewing linen, viscose, and just cotton. So all woven. So that's interesting. I'd be uh, interested in knowing uh, what are you sewing these days are you sewing more with knits or with wovens let me know in the comments below as i will see you in the next sewing video bye